Hey beauties, welcome back to our channel. Morgan Kelly Makeovers is so excited to have you. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a powder contour. This is something you can do every day. It's not as intense as a cream contour, but it can still give the illusion of higher cheekbones, smaller nose, lessen the appearance of a double chin, etc. I use this when I need a five minute boost to feel glamorous because let's be real, I'm a mom, I don't have time to be doing a full face of makeup every day, nor do I want to feel like I have on a full face of makeup every day. So I find that this is the best way for me to feel a little bit more glamorous in a short amount of time and it's really easy to do. So we're going to be working with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit amazing kit. The colors are so soft and set up so nicely. You have three highlighters and three contours or bronzers, whatever you want to say, and they are just so soft. But you can definitely use whatever you've got. If you use the Ben Nye Banana Powder or any other lighter powder, Bare Minerals has some mineral veils that are really nice, use those and use a matte bronzer. So I am starting and I have already done some light eyeshadow, some mascara, my eyebrows, my foundation, and a little bit of bronzer. I have not set my concealer yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use those top two left shades as I hold the thing in my mouth and show you. I'm going to use the banana, which is in the middle, and then the matte pink shade on the left. I cannot remember the name of that right now. And I'm just going to dust those under my eyes just like usual. I use these two shades together just because I feel like it matches my skin tone a little bit better. If I use too much yellow, I tend to look a little dead. So, but this is just, just what works for me. A lot of people can get by with just using the banana powder, but you can really use whatever light, translucent, um, mineral veil type of powder that you have. And I'm just going to bring that all the way out to my temples, and I'm using a brush from a set that I got at Macy's. I have no idea what it was called. Just whatever you usually use to set your under eye powder because this highlight is going to double as your setting. So whatever you like. Then we're going to go ahead and add our same highlighting powder to the center of the forehead, down the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin. And usually I would have done the other eye as well because I like to do all of my highlighting first to start. But I wanted y'all to kind of see one half of, the, half of the face done. So hopefully you'll be able to see it on camera. We'll see. Now we're going to move to our contour. This is just an angled blush brush from the same palette. And using the middle color, the bottom middle color fawn, we're going to draw a line from the, your ear towards the outer corner of your lips. We're going to stop just under the arch of your eyebrow, though. We don't want to bring it all the way to your lips. That's just how I like it, and that's just kind of my general rule of thumb. We're just going to build that line up. And whatever's left on your brush, I like to take it and dust it on my temples as well. It's just going to make the forehead appear to be a little bit smaller, so we always want to make sure we put some color up there. And then we're also going to draw a line along our jawbone. You can pull this all the way to your chin, halfway, whatever you like. I need it to go all the way across so we can try and make my chin look a little bit slimmer. But once you get your line set, that's when I start blending. I'm going to start flicking upwards with that same brush, no more product on it and just kind of blend out these lines that we have created. And then with your line along your jawbone, I just flick it downwards towards your neck and down your neck, and later on you're gonna apply it more down your neck anyway. It kind of creates an E or a three, depending on what side of the face you're working on. That is a great rule if you're a beginner to just kind of make a three. So start at your forehead and go under your cheekbones and then go to your jawline and then blend everything out. That's a great way to start. Okay, so we're going to continue to set this side over here and just bring that highlighting powder all the way out to your temples. Get this under eye taken care of. And you'll notice that this contour looks a little bit darker because there is no sunlight on this side of my face but I promise you it was all even, and even if it were darker, I can always add more to the other side, so it's not that big of a deal. So once again, from your ear towards your lips, stopping right under the arch of your brow, putting a little bit up by your temple. This was so difficult for me just because I was holding the camera with one hand, so I couldn't get those little blonde wispies out of the way, and I'm applying a brown powder, so my hair got all orange, but Hopefully you'll be able to ignore that and see the actual finished product here.
So blend, blend, blend. Blend is always your friend. And after this, just while I finish up this contour on this side of the face, I actually took more of our contour or bronzing powder, whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable with, and you're going to bring it down your chin a little bit just to make, or down your neck, I'm sorry, just to make things look a little bit more cohesive and you don't have all of these harsh lines or blended face and then these harsh lines right at your jawline down your neck because it appears that way right there. So I fixed it. So we're going to move on to our blush and I'm going to be using the NYX HD blush in the Hamptons or just the Hamptons. And I love this color, but I can be really heavy handed with my blush. So I like to build up the color rather than just throwing it on my cheek. But if you know how much blush you like and how much you can put on your brush, you go for it. You don't have to take as much time as I do. This is um, a Precision Beauty brush. I got it at Marshalls for like $5.99. You can't beat it. And it is so soft. And it does a really great job of blending my blush into that contour. So I couldn't ask for a better brush just for pur this, these purposes. And once you feel like your blush is good, we'll move on to our highlighter. And this is going to be MAC Soft and Gentle. This is kind of a standard staple highlighter. It's gorgeous. Everybody uses it for a reason because it looks great on everyone. And you're going to put it on the high points of your cheeks. And I'll include a picture so y'all can see what this highlighter looks like in the sunlight. And you can pretty much use as much of this as you want because it's just a great color. There's our beautiful sunlight picture. It creates kind of like a C right there from your brow bone to your cheekbone. It's just gorgeous. And I'm also going to put this right above my brow bone or my arch of my brow and use it as a brow bone highlight. And that's what's going to give you that C effect, that beautiful C effect. And it's going to lift your eyebrows and make them look even more arched and gorgeous. I'm going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow, and my chin, and that is going to wrap up our look, our glamorous in five minutes look. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and please leave in the comments anything else that y'all would like to see from Morgan Kelly Makeovers. Bye.